Kyoto Koto and welcome to Modern Art in about three minutes. It has no solo mode. It's a game for three to five players, playing time is medium, and it's a reasonably simple game. You're an art dealer trying to wheel and deal various works of modern art to make money. Can you manipulate the art world market and make a fortune? Or will you be as unfashionable as Morris dancing? The game is played over four full rounds. A round consists of a series of auctions and ends once the fifth painting from one artist is put up for auction. The winner is a player with the most money at the end of four rounds. Auctions. Modern art is all about different types of auctions to buy and sell paintings. Set collection. Owning and selling in-demand works from hot artists are the key to winning the game. Player turn. The core of modern art is its different type of auctions. Each art card has an icon in its top left corner which shows what type of auction it uses. The current player chooses a card to play and starts the matching auction type. They are the auctioneer for this card. All money paid for a painting goes to the auctioneer, unless the auctioneer wins, in which case it goes to the bank. The I symbol is an open auction, where players can call out offers. The auctioneer can end the auction once bid stalled by banging the gavel. The one symbol is a one-time auction. Starting to the left of the auctioneer, each player makes one bid and the auctioneer gets the last bid. The padlock symbol is a closed auction. Each player hides their bid and it is revealed simultaneously. Normally this is done with closed hands, but I don't have three pairs of hands to photograph. Highest bid wins. The money bag symbol indicates a fixed price auction. The auctioneer declares how much they want to sell the painting for, and then going left of them players pass until one player accepts the cost. If no one does, the auctioneer must buy the painting. Finally there is the double symbol. If you have a card from the matching artist you include it, and the auction plays as that card's type. Here it's a fixed auction, and the winner gets both paintings. Otherwise you can put it out there and someone else can play a second card and take over the auction. Or if it comes back around without anyone playing a matching card, you keep that card for free. At the end of the round, count up how many paintings were sold for each artist. Here yellow and blue both sold four, but yellow is leftmost on this chart so wins ties. Yellow gets the winner's 30 and blue the 20 value. Orange sold two paintings, so gets the 10, and red and green get nothing. Only the top three artists get something. You then sell all paintings you purchase this round for the money shown on the payoff chart. For example, two yellow paintings sell for $60. In later rounds, you still only get money from the top three selling artists, but their value is equal to the total value on the sale chart. So in round three, yellow is worth nothing, but blue is worth 50 per painting. At the ends of round one, two, and three, you get new paintings, and leftover paintings at game end are worth nothing. Why would you like this game? There is one thing about modern art that makes it a truly great game, and that is that the art has no intrinsic value. Its value is entirely determined by which artists have sold well, so it's 100% driven by player behavior. And it's understanding that value is determined by player behavior that is both the most captivating thing about the design and the hardest thing to explain to new players. Once you get this concept, it's a brilliant auction game open to a lot of smack talk and bragging. There's nothing like slapping down an in-demand artist and saying, Ramon is so hot right now, and watching the bids explode. I think this is a game that a lot of groups, from hardcore gamers to families, would really enjoy, as it's the best auction game out there. The best thing about this game is banging that little gavel, it's so good. However, getting your brain around how much the art is worth can be confusing for some people. And I've played with several people who the game just never clicked with. It's definitely not for everyone. And the art in this version is almost too good. Years ago, I played an older version with much worse art, and for some reason, that made the idea that the art is intrinsically worthless easy to understand. For a different sort of game about buying and selling, try Chinatown. And for a different take on the art world, try Canvas. Modern Art. Ryder Knizzi has designed 600 games, and this is his best. Gold medal game. Three Minute Board Games does not do paid content. Keep us independent by supporting us on Patreon. And if you enjoyed this video, hit the notification button and subscribe to the channel.